Hello Libra and welcome to your October 2019 reading. Today I am using a Woodland Spice candle. I have some fairy quartz here, pyrite, black tourmaline, and a beautiful pink titanium crystal. I am burning some cinnamon cones along with some water element herbals from my friend's shop. I will link her shop down below too. I call in my guides and your guides and all beings alike to assist me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and be thinking of the energies and what you guys most need to know. I am seeing the angel numbers 13 and 47 for you guys. I'm also seeing the animal guide, the Calipitter. Just seeing what is going on for October. I will leave all my links down below, my Patreon, my website, and my email if you guys have questions. Always feel free to leave questions about down below, request as well. Please like, share, and subscribe. Whoa, guys. Cards are flying out. Okay. So the first card that you guys got was the Princess of Wings, the Messenger. So this is just saying that you're going to feel really connected to the spirit realm this month. You're going to feel as if a spirit is giving you messages of prosperity and abundance and miracles coming for the future months to finish off the rest of this year. I am feeling with the butterflies, there is a lot of transformation energy around you, but I feel like you are the one that is going to bring this to fruition. I don't feel like it's necessarily outside influences or opportunities. These opportunities are really action and requested by your own behalf by your own individual gifts and allowing yourself to balance out the energies that have made you feel kind of wonky for a while. I'm seeing some of you, I'm a Libra as well, if you've been struggling with any, you know, colds or any physical symptoms that is not feeling well, this is your angels and guides saying you need to slow down, you are getting downloads. At this time, all the through December 12th, I'm seeing. So it's going to be a lot of ebb and flow for you guys. It's going to be a lot of turning the wheel yourself is what Spirit's showing me. And for some reason, I'm seeing the wheel turn left. So you're doing a lot of protection, a lot of banishing, and a lot of drawing back in through your own selfhood, through your own spirit and acquiring these new changes through your own abilities, through your own, I'm saying it over and over again, but it's just, I get this a lot of uh, spirits showing me a lot of hermit energy here and a lot of magician energy. So that's what I'm feeling for you guys. It's going to be very magical time for you. And I feel like a lot of you, I'm seeing spirit hold up their finger by their lips and saying, a lot of you don't need to be talking about the things that you're trying to acquire because there's a lot of people around you that have a lot to say and it's not necessarily the most helpful. So I see there's been a lot of depression energy surrounding you because people are bringing you down. You, you feel like you are not a good friend, you're not a good coworker, you're not whatever it might be because you are suffering through your own nostalgia and your own... You have big dreams, okay, and so you feel in the past, since you didn't acquire some of these energies, you feel like it's never going to happen for you. And again, that's the depression talking, that's the influence talking. 
So it's really up to you to decipher what's going on and make it positive for you. Make it something that motivates you and gives you determination. It doesn't depress you like it has in the past. You have disappointment. So again, there has been some disappointment surrounding you. Like we talked about with the other card, it's been lingering around. You feel this disappointment's never gonna, never going to leave. And that's because it's partly the focus and it's partly who you're surrounding yourself with. It's partly where you're putting your energy and focus at. You're focusing on things and people that they always express their disappointments to you. They're always acquiring, um, not really, well, kind of facts, but these hurdles of just disappointment after disappointment to where it's building that up in your subconscious and it's almost setting you up to fail it's setting you up to give you what you're asking for you're drawing these in unknowingly partly and then sometimes it is you are knowing what you're drawing in but you feel like it's all there is and again that is that limited box that people has placed you and you've placed in yourself for some time and I feel my bottom of my jaw by my chin. I feel a lot of tension there. So I'm feeling like a lot of people has just put their head down. They have just give up. You know, they're not voicing anything positive because it's just going to come back and bite us. Um, it's almost like what Spirit's saying. It's almost like a stroke energy now i'm not wanting to scare anybody but the stroke energy is coming from a place of people has got you wound up tighter than a screw you've got yourself wound up tighter than a screw and it's actually like we talked about earlier it's affecting your physical health so you need to meditate you need to drink you know replenishing drinks you need to voice what you want listen to music that raises your vibration Get, give yourself a vibration tune-up. And this is a time where you can be as silly or as childish or as, as what spirits say. A lot of you think it's stupid and un, um, not grounded in reality, but it, it is. In a way, it is grounded in reality because it's helping you. It's helping you achieve the reality. When you are staying in this horrible vibration that is really your it's almost like you're fabricating this reality of just woe is me and that is no no different or farther from the truth of you winding yourself up for for success i hope that makes sense so again they're showing you two different sides of the spectrum here and i talk about this a lot because it's it that's really what it is we we don't know how to balance the society our conditionings, our mental states have taught us to either be self-conceited or self-pity, you know. So that's where spirit wants you to kind of grasp a hold. Where are you, where are you at the spectrum and where is those habits or feelings of both sides of the spectrum so you could get to a point of balance for health and well-being, okay? In reverse is the Prince of Shells, the Charmer. So you're being, what Spirit is saying, you're being absorbed and captivated by, it's almost, again, it's people's influence I'm hearing talking in the background about. And we're telling this ourselves, and I'm taking a deep breath because it's a very heavy energy. It's a very frustrating energy a little bit. And we're just, we don't know, we can't focus. We can't focus on our breath. We can't focus on meditation. We're constantly beating ourselves up or we're putting someone else in the spotlight. And it's causing us to feel as if nothing is real, everything's fake, and everyone is going to hurt us. So it's a very... It's self-defeating, really. It's very, it's, we're causing this, not really deceit, but it's almost like that. We're just so wrapped up and past deceits and past 
failures and then we're overextending our energy and going on the other side of the spectrum and being like this person has it better if I was with this person I'd have it better um if I was if I looked this way or felt this way or had this much money then I would be feeling like the most important person in the world you know or I'd feel at peace so it's a lot of these different storylines that are just so off of our actual needs and wants that it's just depleting us completely so try to get with someone and talk through these storylines that you're placing on yourself or others are placing on you if you got to write them out if you have no one to talk to pull card sip tea you know talk to spirit out loud or in your mind whatever you got to do take some salt baths you know work with crystals you know make your own things experiment is what I'm seeing in my third eye so there is a lot of energies that need to come forward and it's just kind of been mixed in with all this other details and all these other energies that it's causing a lot of stress okay and then you have crisis upright the tower so again this is saying that spirits working through you to have you get rid of all this extra junk you know it's it's helping you get to the message it's helping you get to this clean slate that you deserve that you've been craving for but it also has to do with a lot with you are you ready are you truly ready to let go of this energy that has been haunting you or you have been haunting yourself with so I hope that, that this makes sense. You have a lot of good energies this month. It's a lot of self-work, which is annoying to hear. And I know. Uh, but it's a lot about catching yourself in the moment and reprocessing those evaluations or even those thoughts. And how can I make this better? How can I make this feel more secure and safe and more authentic by seeing it through my eyes and no one else's, you know? So it's about fine-tuning your own vibration this month. And that's going to pay off because you're going to feel more spiritual. You're going to feel more like a magnet to prosperity and success. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Blessed be.